Hey YouTube, today we're going to learn about the Promotions Manager, or how to manage your promotions. There are a number of ways to reach, to reach the Promotions Manager, one of which is from your Selling Manager Summary page. If you scroll down to the left, you're going to see a link that says Manage Promotions. Another way that you can do it is through the uh, marketing tools. So if you go to manage my store, and you don't have to have a store to have the promotions manager. So then over here to the left, you have manage promotions, or there's a link right here, manage promotions. They all lead to the same area. Now you wanna keep in mind that the promotions manager is different than the markdown manager. The markdown manager lets you put items on sale the promotions manager, you can create discounts and promote a markdown manager sale as well. Now, markdown manager is a feature of the stores. If you don't have a store, you cannot access markdown manager. You do not need a store to manage your promotions. One of the main differences between the two is that if you do a markdown manager sale, if somebody is searching for your items, they can actually see the discount within the search results. Typically, with the Promotions Manager, you don't have the same effect. Now, there are um, very unique cases where eBay will grant a member the ability to have their discount, their Promotions Manager discount show up in the search results, but it's really hard to qualify for that. You have to have a, a certain... Um, the, the promotion has to be great enough that eBay would be willing to you know, promote your items in that sense. So it's kind of hard to, to get them to show up in that, in that way. Another thing is with the Markdown Manager, when you have an item that's on sale, you're going to see a strike through price. So you're going to see the original price, it'll have a strike through, and then what the new price is. With the Manager Promotions feature, it, it'll still show the original price, but there will be a banner in the upper left-hand corner. So if you've never used the Promotions Manager before, when you click the Manage Promotions link, it's going to take you to a terms and agreement page. Um, it doesn't cost you anything to use this feature. You can read through the terms if you like. You don't have to. If you scroll down at the bottom, there's going to be an agree button. So I've already accepted, so you won't see it in this tutorial. Let's go ahead to the promotions manager page. So this is the dashboard. As you can see, I've created a couple sales. Um, some of them have ended because I'm currently on the all tab. I have one currently active. Um, one of the things that you'll want to do to get more familiar with the Promotions Manager is to click the Learn More link. It's going to take you to the overview, kind of gives you a better feel of what the Promotion Manager can do, gives you some examples of the different options available to you. Also, in the middle section, there is an instruction manual PDF. Super helpful to download that to your system and read through it. Um, I would definitely recommend. You know, getting familiar with this page, reading through the PDF before you call the customer support folks. Um, a lot of times the information or the questions you'll have can be found either on this page or through the instructions manual. And a lot of times the agents will ask, hey, have you read through the instruction manual yet? So if you do find that you have a question, read through this first, and that way you can say, yeah, you know, I've been through the instruction manual. Here's where I'm having trouble. So if you go back to the dashboard, you'll see that there are several different areas here. Uh, the dashboard right here, again, just shows you what you may already have. If you have any scheduled, of course, I have one active. You can put your promotions on hold. Uh, you've got a draft area, and then if you have any that are ended. Again, I'm on all, so it's going to show everything. The differences between the promotions. If you create an order discount, it's going to give you the ability to, to base your condition either on a dollar amount or a quantity. So you can say, hey, you spend $50 on your items, save $2. Or, you know, buy one, get one free. Buy three, get one free. Whatever, you know, certain percentage off. That's what the order discount does. The codeless coupon is set up very similar. You've got the minimum order. You've got the minimum quantity. The difference here is that it's going to generate a URL link that you can send to the members that you want access to these items. So even if you created a coupon, let's say, because they call this a, coup a coupon, if you created a coupon and had it affect your entire store, 
only folks that had access to the link that you generate would be able to actually get the deal. Now you want to keep in mind that it's not a one-time only use URL. Basically, if, if you've got a, a member, let's call her Sarah, and she's been a really loyal customer, so you want to give her an awesome deal, you create a special deal, you send her the link. If Sarah shares that link with everybody, anybody who clicks through that link would be able to get the offer as well. There's no way to customize it to a single person at this time. I don't know if eBay is going to come up with that in the future, but for now they don't have it. But anyway, this is really helpful if maybe you have like a newsletter or a Twitter feed or a Facebook uh, profile, and maybe you either want to give them a good deal or you just want to kind of track where your, uh, your sales are coming from. It's a really great way to do that. You create an offer, you put the, the link in your Twitter feed, let's say, and then everyone who clicks through that link who sees the items that you've customized the offer for would get that discount. Shipping discounts, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Again, you can create, if you have to do a minimum order, dollar amount, quantity, or no minimum, maybe you just want flat rate. You can specify different shipping options, shipping discounts that they can get if they spend a certain amount, buy a certain amount, that kind of thing. The sale event. This confuses a lot of people. They think that by creating a sale event, it's going to do the same thing as the Markdown Manager. So they, you know, they set everything up, sale, save up to, you know, 15%, 10%. And they, you know, people will create a sale event and then they'll check and it doesn't apply to any of their listings. The reason that this is, is because, and it actually says it right here, you have to create your markdown manager sale and then this particular feature promotes that sale. It is not a sale or a discount in and of itself. It's going to create a landing page that will that your members can click on, that your buyers can click on, that will see your items that happen to be on sale. It just promotes the sale. Again, flat out says it here, create a sale using Markdown Manager. Accessory discounts are a little complicated. It's basically, hey, if you buy this item, then you can get this related item at a discount is, is kind of the gist of what that is. Now, the tricky part is your, um, your related item, your accessories, they have to have free shipping, and so sometimes that can be a little difficult because it's not only free shipping for the people who are buying it as an accessory. You have to have your item set up as free shipping to anyone, so you want to keep that in mind. You can either do this by filling out a CSV template and uploading a file here, or you can do it uh, with one-off situations, um, one and one by one. So you can do it. You can do it both ways. It, but again, it can be a little, a little tricky. Now, a great reason to use a promotions manager is because you can create specialized discounts for your buyers. I myself like doing the discounts where you know, buy five get one free, buy two get one at ten percent off, that kind of thing. Lately, as you can see from my promotions here, I've not been having any sales. It's just been a slow month and really I've not really been on top of it. My my nine to five job keeps me pretty busy, so I haven't done much in the way of putting up new items. But if you do have an item sell, that's going to show you the revenue that's been generated for that particular offer. So it's kind of a handy device to see, okay, this particular sale worked well for me. This one didn't. Let's do this one again. Let's try this. It gives you a good idea about the revenue, the average order size, things like that. Now, once your status is active, you can either click on view, which shows you what the offer is in and of itself, or you can go to the more link down here. You can put it on hold. You can edit the offer. Now, with all of these, except for the sale event, um, you cannot edit the, the discount itself. So for example, I'll show you what I mean. Right here is where you would set your offer to begin with. You cannot change your offer. You can change what it applies to. You can just, you know, your description that you have in it. When you want it to end, the photo associated, you cannot change the offer itself. If you didn't want this offer anymore, you'd have to put it on hold and then delete it. Or you could just keep it on hold indefinitely, I suppose. But you cannot actually change the discount amount. So another feature that I like to do whenever my items are active, I want to make sure that it's actually um, applying. I go down to preview offer, opens up in a new tab. 
So now you can see my verbiage that I have. Awesome clothing sale. You can see how many eyes that I've uh, how many items I've applied it to. So right here, this is showing that I have a markdown manager sale. Um, if you have just your the ten percent off, um, you wouldn't actually see a strike through here. I'll show you what I mean. You click on this, and this is something that your buyers will see. This is like the landing page that they can go to. So they can you know, select a color or whatever, it pops up like this. Otherwise, you can click on view item and it'll take you to the actual item page. Now you can see here, I have a markdown manager sale currently um, or concurrent with my extra 10% off. Now you do want to keep in mind that if you have a markdown manager sale going and you create a promotions manager, those discounts double up. So right now I have a markdown manager sale for 10% off, I'm also running a promotion where you get another 10% off when you buy two or more, two or more of something. So you, again, you want to keep in mind that they do double up. It's not going to be a either or situation here. Another thing you want to keep in mind, and it says it right here, but a lot of buyers can get confused about this: the discounts applied when you add the item to your cart. So a lot of times, if if you have items where they do a buy it now, but you don't have it set up where immediate payment is required, they can purchase your item, but since they didn't put it in the shopping cart and check out immediately, they're not going to get that discount. So if you get a query from a buyer saying, hey, I just bought this Barbie doll, why am I not getting the discount? If they didn't put it in their shopping cart and pay for it right then and there, they're not eligible for it. And again, I feel that it is pretty well documented when you apply it, you know, you have to add it to your cart. You'll be surprised how many times buyers do not actually read the listing itself and they just say, oh, I get an extra 10%. Oh, did I not get that 10%? So kind of keep that in mind. If they click on the link, it's going to take them to the landing page that shows all their promotional offers. So right now I have this 10% sale. Say that I wanted to run like a soap sale, I could have that promotion going as well. Maybe I'm selling DVDs and I have a promotion for those. Uh, whatever promotions you have going up, goes on your landing page. So I could have another promotion show up right here, then another right here. And it's not going to show every singular item like this one doesn't. It's just going to show you the gist of what that promotion is. So let's go back to that. It also shows you other items that are applying for this particular promotion. If I only had two items within this promotion, it would only show you the other two items. You can click on see all eligible items and that takes you to the same page as when you do the preview. So it's pretty, it's a pretty handy tool. It's going to generate um, a lot of sales for you. If you haven't checked it out, I definitely encourage you to do so. Um, it does, again, it doesn't cost you anything. You can kind of play around with it, see if you like it. If you have questions, eBay has great support for it. So definitely can give them a call. But I, I definitely encourage you to, to check it out. Um, the Promotions Manager, fantastic tool. Um, let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you have any questions about it or if you just want to post the experience that you've had, definitely go ahead and do that. Keep watching for more videos on how to build up your eBay arsenal.